and welcome back to the channel we don't really have a topic for this ride I'm just gonna chat about whatever and so let's hop on the bike and go for a ride so it's just about a quarter after two in the afternoon and we're sitting at 44 degrees with a little slight wind breeze uh, it feels like 42 not bad uh, not bad for biking but uh, I say not bad because normal temperatures for this time of year here in the Portland uh, area is about 53 or 54 degrees so we're good 9 or 10 degrees off of that so but I'm just enjoying some dry roads right here sunshine and just a nice day to get out for a uh, you know a little bike ride a short uh, bike ride got to get your ride in and uh, it looks a lot different now than when we had uh, you know the weather we've been having over the past week or so here and this is completely a complete change over here so uh, I'm liking this so this is the first ride of March 2023 because today is as I record this Wednesday March uh, 1st 2023 this video will actually go up tomorrow morning so it'll be actually March the 2nd uh, the next day but We're getting cloud off and on here, in and out, uh, so we're getting... Uh, a mix of sun and cloud today, this afternoon, but this morning was sure cool. We had uh, icy roads and all. I didn't have any problem getting into work on the bike this morning, but... Uh, they had school delays here and, and all sorts of things going on uh, because of uh, icy conditions. I think after uh, I think after today here we're going to be going back into the uh, rainy weather and possibly overnight snow mixed in again so uh, we're not completely out of the woods yet, but gee whiz, it's got to be getting better soon because we're almost into spring. Three weeks away, a little under three weeks now. So I can't really complain about the weather here because as I've been saying on other videos as well, there's folks that haven't even been able to get their bikes out at all. And I know one person for sure who's itching to get his bikes out. And that's my brother Brian, who is in Thunder Bay, Canada. And uh, he's got two new bikes. One is, hasn't been ridden on at all. And the other bike, the Emo DX, he's had it out a little bit just before the uh, end of the year there, before the winter, for a few rides, but I'm sure he can't wait to take it out some more. But I've been lucky to be able to pretty much ride, get on some kind of a ride just about every single day. Today, I'm uh, fighting a bit of a cold, so uh, hopefully my voice is okay to pick up on here and I'm not sounding congest congested too much or anything like that. As we go up the hill here. Actually, I might do a Yui here and go down that other street. 
I want to do a Yui. I want to go down this street. There we go. Sunshine and dry roads. You can't beat that. That's the best. kind of fun to ride you can't you might not go quite as fast but it's, it's kind of fun to ride on these side roads in residential neighborhoods because a lot less traffic you're not as stressed out riding anything like that Hello. <laughs> we can hear the dog, I'm sure, there. I think he's just greeting me. I don't think he's too upset. Maybe he thinks the bike is a big dog or something. Gee, now it's got another dog there barking. Get the whole neighborhood of dogs barking here. So right now I'm in the off-road mode and I'm in pedal assist level five. Yeah, I'm really liking the uh, dry roads. You feel much safer. I can feel that wind a little bit though. Even though it's not very... Just looking to see if you can get through any of those, I guess not. But the uh, little breeze isn't too bad, considering the temperature is in the 40s. If it was in the 30s, I think you'd feel it even more. a little adrenaline rush there and got it up to 35 miles per hour it meaning the bike the lyric graffiti
There we go. <clears throat> so if you've got uh, any comments about this or any other video that you've seen on the channel, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to that. As you can probably tell, I'm loving my Lyric Graffiti bike. Nice to see uh, some folks out there walking with children or pets. I think people are just itching to get out. Uh, everybody wants spring to be here ASAP, including yours truly. I wouldn't mind some nice spring weather. I just don't want it too hot. I find the one, uh, I think it was two summers ago now, uh, we had a stretch there where we were well over 100 degrees and one of the days it was 116 degrees. Of course it broke records and all, but all time warmest day ever here in Portland area. And uh, that was insanely warm. That's a little bit much. a bit and get in the bike lane. Looks like they did some uh, street sweeping here, which is great. Because the bike pass, bike uh, lanes, I should say, get uh, a lot of debris. And I wish they could sweep them more often, but This is not bad actually, right here. Looks like it's been done fairly recently here. I'm going to want to make a left turn there and I'm going to have to wait a minute. Lots of traffic. In all directions.
Thank you. Lots of cars, wow. I think we're going to make a run for it in just a minute here. Just got a compliment on the bike. Somebody across the street yelled over a nice bike. I saw a bike today for the first time in person that I had not seen before. I've seen them, of course, on videos and all, but never on uh, in person. And that was until today I saw an Engway for the first time. I don't know which <coughs> exact uh, model it was, but it was an Eng Engway uh, folding bike. Black one. Like I said, I don't know the uh, which one it was, but they look pretty good. Just a young guy uh, riding it. Teenager. I'm still thinking I want to get a scooter. Well, I think I want to get a scooter to mess around with at some point. They look like a lot of fun and uh, I've not, not been on one before. I think I might want to at some point get one and I think I've mentioned that before but All right, well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you for coming along for the ride. First day of March 2023. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you'd like to purchase this bike, the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description below. And there's also a code, discount code, Oregon E-Biker Mark. That's all one word. If you put that code in, Oregon E-Biker Mark, you will save yourself $150 off of a Lyric Graffiti. If you have a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for coming along for the ride this time around. And until next time, take care.